had them here. Yeah. See, I struggle with that so much. And that's something that I've been thinking about a lot because I've, I mean, look, I'm fortunate enough that I built a brand and a name that people come to me for stuff, especially since I did the podcast. I can't tell you how many people come to me. They want me in their documentary. They want to interview me for this. They want to interview me for that. But they don't want to pay that. you. Of course not. Which right. I understand. Like, you don't get paid for documentaries. Like, I get that. But I can't do every single document. Or I have people who just want to interview me and ask me questions about a documentary that they're doing. But they don't want, I'm not going to be in it. They're using you for your, their homework. I actually do now say to them, if you'd like to pay me a consulting fee, I'll answer all the questions you want. Yeah. My time is worth something. And they're appalled. Yeah. But I've had two pay me. Yeah. So I got to say no to 20. Yeah. It's a lot. It is a lot. And it's like, and and I, and I hear that because I don't want to become that person because I remember when I was trying to get somewhere and I needed advice from somebody, you know, um, if they wanted a consulting fee, like what I would think about them. But you're right. Because like you get to a point where I cannot say no, yes to everything. No. Like I just like it cut. And then, especially now that I have a child, like if I'm going to spend this day, like work for sitting down with you to be interviewed for your documentary and you're not even going to put me in it, which, you know, that might be valuable for me in a way where I would get like FaceTime and sure, publicity. Sure. Um, then I can't work on these other things that I really need to get done to make me money. Right. So it's just like, and I think that's something I didn't really understand until I'm at this place now. So it's I tough. am trying to say no to more things, but like in and a kind The documentaries way. too, quite a few times I have done things for people and then I don't like the tone of how the documentary, yeah, totally. like they come to me with this idea, like it's going to be a positive take on the industry yeah. and we're going to talk about female empowerment and this and that. And then four months into these weekly phone calls they want you on and can you give me this person's phone number and you don't want to give it so you got to reach out to that person yeah. and ask them if it's okay. Four months down, it's like, oh no, this is going to be about agents and the horrible things that they've done to people. We've decided to, and I'm like, that's not what I need to be giving my time to. I don't mm-hmm. want to burn bridges. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to think I'm part of a negative conversation, Mm -hmm. but there's a lot of people. And, you know, in journalism, they do pay their leads a lot of times Mm -hmm. because they're going to make money selling this product to Netflix or they're going to make money. You don't want to pay any of us, but yet you want me to be at your disposal for eight hours a week to talk. No, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I just say I gave that up for Lent and I'm really sorry I decided not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the the time management and the saying no, saying no and trying to kind of simplify your your life is, is something that I was forced to deal with um when I had a kid because I had suddenly had less time. I didn't want to work twenty four seven. You know, you I wanted to have time to see her. And you also need time to take care of you. Yeah. Whether it's doctor's appointments or whether whatever it may be that you want to do for you. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we put that aside to do all these little things. Mm-hmm. We put us aside. Yeah. Take care of everybody else. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.